E1 pages, which you will see a demo of, and multiple time zone support, just to name a few. All right, jump in and show us some of the right. software before people get too hungry. <laughs> All right, so right when you enter E1, you'll see the new, um, you know, the new brand, okay? Okay, this is um, a landing page? This is a landing page. This is what you used to see, as you can see on the left-hand side, the left-hand navigation, where um, that's where you would, you know, go and, and launch your applications. We've, we've changed that. We've freed up about 20% of the canvas um, for the end user and moved that up here to the drop-down menu. Now, why don't you show us some of the navigation, then? How, how does one navigate that? You just, you know, point and click, and you can go through your menu system this way. Nice. And now, this is more of what you see in modern web applications today. Okay, so That's what we're looking at here, then, is an application of Tools 9.1 inherited by the 9.0 app, right? Yep, that is correct. Okay. The, the splash screen will change based on which apps release you are on, and you also see the tools release version at the bottom. Okay. So something else that you probably notice and wondering about are what are all these tabs across yeah, the top? Yeah, I was going to ask, what are all those tabs across the top? <laughs> <laughs> um, so what this is, is um, what we call Enterprise One Pages. And this is a portal-like representation of HTML flows, mm -hmm. um, external links, uh, BI Publisher Analytics, um, and you just click on them and you will navigate to that specific page. Like here we're talking about, you know, the Oracle web page. We can go to the BI analytics and do some drill-ins. Just give it a second to load. Here we go. And, you know, it's real time. Um, these pages can be configured by user, by role, by environment. The same security model that everyone is used to in, in J.D. Edwards today. Okay. Um, we're also delivering some out-of-the-box flows. Now, what we, um, we see these being used for is the typical end user does, uh, you know, a number of tasks each yeah, number of steps, yeah. And so we would, by role, configure these um, flows to have them sign in. But that's just a static bitmap, right? Um, no. You can hover over these, and what you'll see is um, the, the changes. And what behind the scenes it'll do is it'll either launch an application or run a report. Oh, can you run a report? Show me what that looks like. I will get to the report in a second. Oh, I'll the application <laughs> first. I guess I skipped ahead. That's okay. And so, boy, that looks really different, though, Bri. Yeah, well, what? It, it does. Um, and from everyone who's used to running E1, um, you know, this looks totally different. Um, what we did here, our, our whole software is based on metadata, and so what we were able to do is at runtime change the way we render that metadata, right, um, to give you this nice new look and feel. Very clean, very simplistic. It kind of looks like Fusion. It, it does look like Fusion. And <laughs> what we've done is um, taken uh, the same approach that Fusion has and used the RCUX, which is the Rich Client User Experience style sheet, to render these. So if you're in an enterprise that contains both Fusion and Enterprise One, it'll look like they live together. Right. <laughs> so now, what's that little arrow down there at the bottom? Ah, uh, the little arrow. This is a new navigation paradigm that we've added to Enterprise One in the next release, and we call it the Carousel. So the Carousel, um, it, it looks and feels more like the way you would navigate on a tablet or a smartphone, and we see that looks like my iTunes. <laughs> and you see more people wanting to use this. You still have the traditional um, menu navigation menuing right. up here. Um, you also, we still have fast paths, so you can still go up here, type in your, your next application, and it'll load right up. You'll also see that it puts the next icon right in the carousel. Um, and so you can hover over it, you can see information about that application. For the power user who likes the application names, you just click on the description and up pops the P4210. Okay. Um, you know, we still have uh, favorites. You'll see that tab here as well, where you can launch your favorites from. One thing I want to note as well is, between the carousel and the drop-down menu, you see the same three. These things work in concert with each other, so whenever one is updated, they're both updated. Okay. So you're going to show me something about the reports? Uh, yes. This um, was something that was really asked by customers, an easier way to get to their reports. So now we have the most recent reports, and this is a configurable item, where they show up in the carousel. You'll see, if you hover over them, you get some more information. Plus, there's a color in the upper right corner, which don't... Um, it, it basically tells you what the status I see. Can you move those things around a little bit? Yes, you can. You can slide them all around, reposition them, do whatever you want. And even with favorites and open apps, you can drag them around and reorder them however you want them ordered. Is that fixed at the bottom all the time? No, actually, it's <laughs> You can 
drag it wherever you want. If you want it on the left hand side, it's up there. Oh, you can put it up on the top, put it down on the right. So, fantastic. Yes, and one last thing. This, you have to see this for the, the most recent reports. I'm going to run a very familiar UBE here. And what you'll see is when I submit this real time in the carousel, you will get a new icon that pops in and it's in color blue so you know that it's, it's processing. Ah, so when it's done, it's green. Yep, and when it's done, you can see it turns green now. Very good. Cool. And so that is Carousel, and we think that new Nav UI is really going to help um, in the productivity of the end user. Okay, now I want to make sure that everybody understands this is not shipping software at this point. We're giving you a little view into where we're going here over the next several months.